In this video, I'd like to talk about how to uh, label and then reference an equation for later. So let's go back to the example that we had with the align environment. We had to solve the equation 3x to the third plus 3x squared minus 6x. And then we went and we did a bunch of algebraic steps. We uh, factored out a 3, we factored out an x, then we factored the x squared plus x minus 2, and then we figured out what the answers were. So let's use the label command to label the equation, reference command to reference it later. And then um, for the therefore line, we'll have no number because it's really not a step, it's just kind of there. Um, <clears throat> so let's start with this one. We can type in label, and you have to do it before the double backslashes. And we'll call this uh, 3 because we factored out the 3. Here we'll call this um, x because we factored out the x. And this, we'll just call it factor poly, because we factored that polynomial. And we don't want a number here, so no number. And then let's compile this and see what happens. So the only difference that we'll see is that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, no number for the therefore, and the next one after it is numbered as 5. Now we're actually going to reference these guys. So in step reference 3, I factor out a 3. In step reference x, I factored out an x. And in step factor poly, I, I factored the polynomial. Now let's have a look at what we have. We'll compile. And there you can see, in step 2, I factored out, let's zoom in a little bit more. In step 2, I factored out a 3. In step 3, I factored out an x. And in step 4, I factored out the polynomial. And it's all exactly referenced, exactly the way it should be. You don't even have to think about it. You just label it, and it's done. Um, I like to put my references in parentheses. I think it makes it a bit more readable in the final result. It's not necessary, but you can certainly do so. Um, so I'm just putting these guys in parentheses. And let's compile this and have a look at what it looks like. So there you go. In step 2, I factored out a 3. In step 3, I factored out an x. And in step 4, I factored the polynomial. And there you can see step 2 is where we factored out the 3. Step 3 is where we factored out the x. Step 4 is where we factored the polynomial. Hope this has been helpful.